out, there's an engine oil that's made from natural gas. And they even use it in Ferraris. And now you can get this oil to use on your own car. Okay, well, how do you turn methane into engine oil? Well, methane is just carbon and hydrogen. Engine oil is made from carbon and hydrogen, too. It's just longer chains. So basically, all you have to do is rearrange the carbon and hydrogen atoms, and you'll get gas turned into engine oil. Must be pretty simple. Okay, how long did it take you guys to figure this out? Well, it's taken 40 years from an idea in the lab to actually produce the product which is on the shelf. And how many patents did you accrue making this oil? There are 3,500 patents related to the process. Okay, so what's the difference between oil made from just the oil you get out of the ground and oil made from natural gas? So when you dig oil out of the ground, you get a whole range of different chemicals, ones which aren't suitable for lubricants. When you start with methane and build them, you can build them into the chain that you want to be the best engine oil. So basically, you want to turn this methane into this engine oil. Well, obviously, there's a process involved in this. Number one, gasification. We react ox pure oxygen with this methane to produce what we call a syngas. And step two? Step two is the Fischer-Tropsch reaction. Basically, it goes inside a catalyst, and then from the syngas, we develop these long-chain carbon molecules. And step three? Step three is actually two parts inside. One of them is the hydrocracking, so we basically break it up into chunks, these long-chain molecules, and then distillation, so we break them off and sort them out into different size ranges. So once you've got your base oil, it goes into the bottle with the high-performance additives to make a synthetic oil you can use in your car. So now you know how they turn gas into motor oil. Remember, if your car has any problems, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. Before it's too late.